Hi pals, it's me again. I have to say appropriately. How do I say appropriately? I'm disabled and bisexual. So the stuff is just everywhere. My brain do not work. Dogs have a very special place in my heart. I can and do cry regularly just thinking about dogs. Not even my dog, just dogs. I just... <sighs> Sorry, spoilers. <laughs> do, do I need to say spoilers for that? That's a really old Birkin film. It gets to a point where you're like, am I reading words? But let me know if you would like more book related content, queer related content, disabled content because as we know I am books gay and disabled. Yeah that's my brand now books gay and disabled. <sighs> hey pals. <coughs> Pardon me. I just tried to speak some truth. You know it might just be my truth but it's still a truth. Fuck off. <sighs> Am I okay? No. <laughs> but no, it ain't it. It ain't it. I'm just ending the video, you know. I'm on the bathroom floor. I, am I Trisha Paytas? Oh no, she's the kitchen, isn't she? Because honestly, at this point, what's the point? Um, you know, it's very hard to see what the point is in doing anything ever because... My brain just went... Bonjour. My brain don't work in this heat for a start. And that's it. Start, end. That was it. Hello? Is it me you're looking for? I'm here, it's still me. Your local disabled gay book geek, you know? It me. Help. Hi guys, hi. <laughs> Blasphemy, hi pals. <laughs> Good. Um, I love him, and that is the end. It has, it has some major problems. <laughs> what the fuck was I watching? Toru's dad is dead. Toru has no parents, by the way, at all. Plot holes. Sometimes you just have to. Pretend it makes sense. <laughs> what? <laughs> and who the fuck is the dog man? He's a pervert. What? He is the year of the dog. I was born year of the dog. We have the same middle parting hair now. He sometimes wears glasses. He is a writer. And he smokes, and that was like a big character trait I had for a long time. No longer, but like I still, when I watch characters who smoke, I'm like, same. <laughs> but there he is, look how cute he is. R.I.P. Feminism. You know, like I just... So like, I... Was there anything else I had to say? Not really sure. Um, 
fantastic. And I'll talk about that one more in its own video, because fucking hell, fucking hell. I was expecting it to be a romance book, and then there was just a lot of... <laughs> things. <laughs> I just don't like reading books that are white on white on white on white, you know? <laughs> it's really boring. It's boring. White people do one thing and that is colonise and not much else, you know? Bastardise and colonise and that's it. I am confusion. My brain is, has been on holiday. It's been on holiday and it has not come home. Ella? I don't know, man. I don't think that really works. <laughs> Bastardizing and colonizing. <laughs> Bastardizing and colonizing, you know? And they get into mischief. It is what it is. Joke's on you, sis. Fuck. So it's time to go. Bye. I feel deeply uncomfortable. <laughs> Thank you for your service. I have big shoulders. And <laughs> big boobs. <laughs> it's just time. Bye. Bye. They're all like really old granny. Basically. Basically. I wore old granny clothes. You was a skinny bitch. Fuck off. Not a lot compared to some people, but I'm still drinking a lot. And I can tell you, my life has never been in control. which is controversial for some but welcome to my disabled life here we go <laughs> hello milo from atlantis to the rescue bitch right so here we are <coughs> oh ow. is it a tendon in my neck or is it my arteries who knows or what I do to do with my disabledness. My <laughs> what the f this disabled, chronically ill, queer mess who just really likes books, you know. And subscribe to my channel because I um gay books and disabled. That's going to be my sign-off from now on. I am gay, books and disabled. I'll see you next week. Bye.